This is nice. No complaints. Now, this, this is Drew Roy with us right now. You play Noah Wiley's oldest son. I do. Which I think Noah is, doesn't look old enough to have a son your age. Well, you know, he might have popped me out a little. <laughs> I'm not sure what the story is. I didn't, I didn't ask any questions when they wanted to cast me. I wasn't like, all right, guys, I don't know what's going on here. But, um, no, I feel like we, we pull it off, you know. Oh, I think you do pull off, especially with the premiere episode. Now, you play the older brother. I do. And you're keeping oh. an, the middle brother, which we're not going to go any spoilers. The middle brother is captured. But you're kind of almost semi in charge of your younger brother. Uh, yeah. And our, our mom's gone now, so uh, Hal's really having to step into uh, this new position of, you know, having to take care of the kids as well as fighting. And you know, he's, throughout the season, he's becoming a man, which was um, an interesting thing to play. You know, trying to find those moments to show that he is a 16, 17 year old kid, and then also showing him growing into his own. So that was, that was a good I've time. said this before. There's a lot of layers to this series. This isn't just a typical shoot 'em up science fiction show at all. Right. So when did you you did the pilot two years ago? Correct. Was that before Secretary? About the same time you did Secretary? Uh, I shot the pilot, and then as soon as I got back in town, I think I was in town for like a week, and then I got the call on Secretary. I think uh, the show led to the to the movie. So no complaints on that one. No. <laughs> and the way that you were discovered, you were actually were at a party in Atlanta, and you were discovered. Is that right? Well, uh, I was. Going to go to college and um, decided, you know, I don't know, run over to Atlanta and do a little modeling, make some extra money, have a good time. And then when I was over there, I met a manager who he proposed the idea that if I'd move out to Hollywood, he'd represent me. I had five friends who were in a band, so we all just looked at each other and we were like, Let's do it. And hey, you I'd think he looks familiar. You've also been on iCarly. i got to point have, that out too, I right? I've been on iCarly. That, that began Hannah everything. Montana as well. So. Yeah, that was great times. Um, this acting gig's working out for you pretty good. It's been good, yeah. yeah. It's, it's, <laughs> it's really hitting its stride. <laughs> now you're in a show where you get to shoot guns, make a lot of noise and everything. Yeah, and uh, the executive producer, Steven Spielberg. I mean, yeah, what's that like? A boy from Alabama would have never expected that. Uh, that was incredible. He, he showed up on set and uh, took me aside, and we were, we were chatting for a while. It must have been like a 10, 15-minute chat. Um, that was pretty surreal. What's your favorite part of the series so far, uh, without giving away any spoilers um, with your character? You know, I gotta say, as, as good as the first couple episodes are, I feel like it, it actually gets better and better. And I'm not just plugging it right now. Right. Um, I think episode, I think five and seven are my favorite. And um, but, uh, seven looks com exactly like a movie. Like you're gonna think you're watching a movie. They all look great, but seven. It's just incredible. It doesn't look amazing. like it's TV with the special effects. I mean, there's right. nothing cheesy about the special effects yeah, at all. Yeah, yeah, they look great. Is it, it hard acting, though, with a with a tennis ball and a string pretending well, it's an you know, alien? Well, uh, the way you get the jobs is the audition room and, you know, going into casting offices, which, you know, could be this size and, you know, white walls, so you're imagining everything. So you get on set, and, it, I mean, even if it's a ball coming around the corner like this that a guy is, is using for the CGI mat, it's still more than you get in a, in a casting office. So, right. you know, it's kind of a good training going through casting what's it like working with noah wiley incredible that guy's he's an amazing actor he's super intelligent um you know i've learned a ton of things from him just little facts about this and that and then just watching him act is also a lesson in and of itself and you have guys like will Patton on set and which is, will's pretty scary will is scary is yeah. he scary in real life uh you, you know you don't want to be in an elevator alone with a guy if you know what i mean he has a uh, he has a, a tender side to him when you when you get to know him He's uh, an incredibly nice man. He probably wouldn't even want me saying this. <laughs> but, uh, no, um, on set, I, I, was, I was intimidated by him. But we're good friends now. I, I call him every now and then, and we'll have these nice long chats. Wow. And, hey, uh, he's a great actor. He is. You, you're with a great cast, with a great show, and, of course, it's Spielberg being the producer. I mean, uh, yeah, this thing is, this is a great series.